yo back i'm just recording how i'm reading the bible to train my voice okay so just just listen to the video it's matthew chapter 6 verses 5 and when you pray do not be like the hypocrites for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by men i tell you the truth they have received their reward in full but when you pray go into your room close the door and pray to your father who is unseen then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you and when you pray do not keep on babbling like pagans for they think you will be heard because of their many words do not be like them for your father knows what you need before you ask him this then is how you should pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one from the evil one from the evil one evil one from the evil one for if you forgive men when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive men their sins your father will not forgive your sins fasting when you fast do not look somber as the hypocrites do for they disfigure their faces to show men they are fasting i tell you the truth they have received their reward in full but when you fast put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to men that you are fasting but only to your father who is unseen and your father who sees what is done in secret will, will reward you treasures in heaven do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rots destroy and where thieves break in and steal but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth Do not store up for yourselves treasures, treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and do not worry therefore i tell you do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is thought life more important than food and the body more important than clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in bands and yet your heavenly father is there are you not much more valuable than me who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life and why do you worry about clothes See how the ladies of the field grow. 
they do not labor with spin, yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God calls the first of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, would he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Okay, um, I'm trying to meditate on what I just read, trying to think about it in much detail. I read on do not worry, on giving to the needy, on fasting. I read on what again. Prayer. Praise God in heaven. So at least I recall some stuff. From what I read right now, I can say that. Whatsoever we do in our day to day work with Jesus, we have to make sure that we are doing it for the right reasons, that we are doing it to serve God and not to serve our flesh. It's a very difficult thing to do, but yet we are called to do so. We are called. Serve in his service. Um, like in the first part here of Matthew, giving to the needy, I think if you want to pick into context, I should not publicly declare my act of righteousness. That's what I gathered from there. That when I do go to somebody, I should not do it so that people should see what I do. That I should do it in secret. Like what I did with Sophie today. So amazing. I don't think, I'm not saying it's good, but I just think that's how I want to interpret it. So the prayer, if you pray like how God pray, Pray by putting God first. First by putting His will and living for Him. By this first tells me I should put God first and live with Him. Our Father is the first. And who will be your name? We should live for Him. Your kingdom come, let His will be done. Give us today our daily bread. We should look for Him to give us our day to day. We should rely on Him. We should rely on His grace. We should not just rely on ourselves. Forgive us our debts. 
we should ask Jesus to help us, you know. We should forgive our debt. That, 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 that means that oh, oftentimes we sin against ourselves and also cause others to sin. So at, at the same time, we should ask God to forgive us and we also should, should forgive ourselves. I think it's pertinent because sometimes, for example, for, for example, people that engage in things like pornography like that, they are seeing it against ourselves. When we have the confidence that in Christ we have been washed with a, with our with His precious blood, that He has forgiven us, we can confidently say that we do not fall into this attitude of guilt we rely on his promises that's the way i capture this and we also forgive those that did bad against us it's not been easy thing but it happens every day that's how we are we are doing and we pray against temptation that do it comes that by his grace as he said, that we should overcome it and fasting. I have to do fasting to rely to build my relationship with him. Treasures in heaven, I have to be conscious of what I'm doing. I have to have a goal. Like, he said that for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. If the purpose of my life is, is in pleasing God, Therefore, I will only do the things I need to please God. If the purpose of my heart is in pleasing things of this world, then the things I will do is to please myself. As, as I said, even that you cannot have two masters, we will have one. So I told myself that no, I want to really build my foundation in Christ, I have a solid foundation with Him. It will take time, yes, but I know that continuously He will give me the strength. He will give me the spirit to do that. And lastly, I don't want to worry. Life is already stressful on its own. There are already events in our life that come and stress us up. So worry and everything. But we but we we have to recognize that we were not meant to carry our problem by ourselves. We have a help by Jesus that says that that of the cross that God wants to carry our burden. So we should rely on Him, but not on not not, not on ourselves. We should rely on Him as our source of strength, so that we, we don't get discouraged by the by the problems of this world. So I want to tell anyone that is going through a particular problem or a challenge that <laughs> seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and all this is to be given to you. Whether it's your exam, don't worry about your exam. Don't worry about your wife. Don't worry about the problems that you have. Pray about them. Don't worry about your circumstances. Pray about it. He will take care of it. By his grace and in philippians chapter 4 verses 13 it says that i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so i don't want to do it by myself i know with him i will be able to do that i will be able to overcome in the mighty name of jesus christ okay so that was it for today that is grace and his wisdom should come and follow me, Jesus' name.